Because you know what they speaking were... of speaking of hate mobs, bro. What happened? Whew, this nigga Diddy is in the fucking frying pan bro, right now. Bro. What's the new shit? Oh, bro, yes. listen. First of all, it's like every other day I see something crazier <laughs> about was, Diddy. It, it every... dropped today, right? Yeah. So like, like literally right before we went on air. So yes, exactly. There was this crazy lawsuit uh, from Cassie. Let Which me, is his ex-wife. Uh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And they were together for years, and she basically is accusing him of... Of rape and abuse. Uh, what gr- the fuck? Rape and abuse. For, of, of, for 10 years, but... You for know, 10 years he was doing that? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So, like, you know, that's the number one question I've, I'm sure some people will be bringing up is, like, how are you going to be sexually abused for 10 years, but then also... By your husband? By your husband, who's, like, you know, he, <laughs> didn't, he didn't have her locked in a cage, you know what I mean? Like, it's like she was able to leave at any point, technically. Cool. I mean, I don't know, it was a gold you can't, cage, though. Y'all can't just say that, though. Y'all that's can't, what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm just, like, bringing up, like, I don't know, like, what people might say to the situation. No, for sure, for sure. Okay, but look. It's just so, like, it's hard to believe, almost, you know? I don't know. Nah, listen, bro. This is the thing, though. It's like maybe if this was an isolated incident, maybe that would be hard to believe. But oh, it's like, not isolated. When it comes to like just all the crazy shit that has been coming out publicly about Diddy, is like it all kind of makes sense. Bro. It's just the Tupac thing. I, but but it's, it's not just that, bro. It's like people people have been saying like crazy shit about him for years, and I feel like he's just been silencing hella people or like or like. I've you only know, said wait, that. just, just, just let, let me finish, please. No, yeah, yeah, sorry. I think the thing is, like, he's trying. I, I, I feel like he was almost trying to like right his wrongs and like try to like low key like use his stat, like not even use it on purpose, but his status in the industry is like maybe people didn't want to speak out against him. They felt like they was going to oh. get in trouble or get killed or whatever. But yeah. like. Dude, people have been saying crazy shit about him like literally, literally since the beginning, since the beginning of uh of every of fucking Bad Boy Records, bro. And it's like, you know, he tries to put on this like kind of squeaky clean image now. Yeah. But I think that's because he's trying to like save some face because hmm. I feel like I don't know, man. It's like it's it, it's fucked up because you know people that are almost at this like you know this a-list like superstar status like he's one of those people like a like a snoop dog or like a like like he's like transcended like like he's he, he's moved past hip-hop culture and he's just in pop culture in general like yeah he's, he's a, a pop culture icon he was right in music videos with biggie you know what i mean yeah like, i mean it's... like biggie was signed his label but like the whole thing is that like people people are almost like what the fuck about people in those positions because they like they just see them like with the bright kodak smile and if you like talk shit in about movies him, probably, and tv you know, and shit but he like will make sure it's like hard for bro, you to like grow did, okay did, did you see the latest update that he when cassie was dating kid cuddy she threat uh, he, he threatened he was so mad about it he threatened to blow kid cuddy's car up tell me why a car in kid cuddy's driveway blew up like a couple weeks after no that's what it said in the article he's on some mafia shit bro Listen, that's what I'm saying, bro. But they're, also, they're you know, trying to say that he got Tupac lined back in the day. One thing I have to, I feel like, I, I see so much money he could do it. One bro, thing, that's what I'm saying. One, one thing I feel like a lot and of, get away with it. I feel like a lot of young people like forget about is like, bro, people that grew up in the '90s and in early era. 2000s and earlier, and he was not just like a '90s. I was a '90s like baby kid, you know. He, he was, was a grown ass. He man. was actually a grown ass and dude, rich as fuck, and already had money, all that stuff in the '90s. In the that, '90s, that's the ultimate, like not ultimate, like. There was, you know, it's been thirty plus years of him being rich. But that, but at that time, years. like that's when like people were all be, uh, they were able to be like super fucking like anonymous. You know what I mean? Like you could For really sure. like nowadays with like phones, all that stuff. You know, internet's like you, it's very hard to be anonymous and walk around LA. But he's from a time where you know, especially with the gang era and all that shit. Like you know, I could potentially see something like that happening where he's like, but also. Why would you risk something like, you know, like it's, such a high status for a girl, you know, you know, you know, you know what it is? So rich. You're it's like so much money. Like. It's, it's one of those things where like they, I feel like the power makes them feel like they're above. Invincible. They're like, invincible. Yeah. They're above everybody. Do you know who the fuck I am? I'm fucking Diddy, nigga. You can never yeah, cancel yeah. me basically. But it's like, we're in this new era now where like, like people, if you do some fucked up shit, people don't care about who you are or like whatever your status is supposed to be is like they're kind of holding you accountable to doing fucked up shit it don't matter who you are yeah, yeah and i feel like a lot of people maybe they just did their dirt and like they did their dirt and just thought that they could just oh let me fucking give some money to charity like let me like become like like 
positive like Gandhi. How long ago did they split up, Cassie and Diddy? I don't know. Fucking probably a long time ago. Nigga, they're, nigga, they're trying to say. Like, look, look, by the way, this is all alleged. Like, yeah. So why is this lawsuit coming now? I'm wondering. I mean, listen, bro. Like I said, there's just been all this reoccurring shit that's been coming out. Like, mm. I was even on YouTube. People like, are not scared to call him out anymore, bro. They're they're saying that he killed his other baby mama, fucking Kim Porter. Oh yeah, I heard about that. And and her like best friend slash other nigga that she was bro, fucking you're, you're with. Oh, nigga killed. <laughs> bro, <laughs> listen. No, we need Trap Ross on this, dude. This is all shit that's like w like. I won't say well documented. This is these are all theories that have been presented multiple times, Damn, like dude. throughout the years. And I feel like it's only been like this is what I'm saying. Like it's been like a snowball effect of shit that's been added onto his name. And it's like every other week I see some crazy shit. So today when I woke up and saw that Cassie shit, I'm like, bro, they got this nigga in the fucking frying pan right now. It's probably because they got so much evidence now. Where it's like, but what do you think? Like, do you think he's gonna fucking just? Like try to do an interview and be like, listen, man, yeah. allegations, man. L listen, I'm like in a fly ass crib. Just like, yeah, he gonna do some like, man. Listen, I don't even pay attention to those al to those allegations, man. Listen, <laughs> the 30th anniversary of Biggie's album, oh, we re putting it out again. Like gonna, <laughs> we are pretty, <laughs> we're putting it out again, and Dude. we're giving out fucking a million free turkeys <laughs> on oh. Thanksgiving. Like, and there's a party, and then all the yeah, people yeah, be like, bro, yeah. listen, yeah. but listen. We gonna know it's really over for him if he tries to throw another one of them all white parties in the Hamptons and yeah. nobody comes this the next time. That's Bro. how you know it's over for him if nobody listen. He's been throwing these white parties since like the all all white parties in the Hamptons since like the early two thousands or something. There's yeah. a chance we this might not turn into anything at all, and he's just gonna I don't ignore know, it and it'll fall behind the scenes like you know rich people usually take care of things, but. If this does unfold into the public, like this would—it's already in the public. But like, Nick, it's been the public. How, how many times have we seen like not like this though? Like, I woke up and that shit was on like Complex. It was on this. Yeah, it was yeah, on yeah. that. It like, it wasn't just like somebody on Twitter I heard about that shit. You know, even like, like, it was the first thing I saw when I opened my eyes this morning. Oh my god! I was like, damn! As soon as I hopped on the internet, that was the first thing I saw, Did and it was know? like all these different publications was posting it, and it's to the point now where like, damn, bro, like you can't really be silent about it. You kind of got to speak on it. Yeah. Do well, you still fuck with Diddy? I mean, like, <laughs> I never was, like, yeah. some super fan of Diddy anyway. But Who like, is? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, But at the end of the Did day. Did he make, like, uh, make uh, that champagne company? What's it called? Uh, Ciroc. Ciroc. That's not champagne. Oh, wait. Sorry. Yeah, he made Ciroc. Mm -hmm. There you go. Which? I don't even think he made it. He was just a, just a partner in it. Oh, okay. But well, the thing is, the thing is, like, okay, like, you know. I respect the the forefathers and the the people who you know really the people that put on for just black people at, in general and just made like being a businessman and being a boss cool and shit like that like I appreciate it but like he just always seemed a little off to me if I'm really being honest really? like bro have you never bro that's what I'm saying like like you're not embedded in the culture so you can't really understand but like bro he's been a fucking psycho the, since like bro like when fucking making the band was on tv the one clip no that, just listen listen okay, okay. he's literally so so he has this tv show called making the band back yeah, in the day i remember bro he made these niggas walk from goddamn like Times square to like brooklyn to go get fucking him cheesecake <laughs> like from this place called Junior's like or whatever. I don't know if it's in Brooklyn. Correct me if, if I'm wrong, but he basically made them walk from one borough to another borough in New York and bring the cheesecake back and then was mad that it was like mad about something and didn't even eat it. That's not like, too crazy. No, but what I'm saying <laughs> is some no, but listen, listen, y'all like, like you're not getting the general concept of like there has been these weird power trips time like story about him. Yeah. Since the beginning of fucking time, bro. So like we like listen. If you look at all those things individually, mm -hmm. they don't sound that bad. But when you put them all together, it oh. all makes sense of a you nigga. Always an asshole, bro. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It makes sense of like a nigga that's just off in the head. That just like it's just doing weird shit. Who did he? Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, the shit they accused him of what? Accusations. And that's only like accusations. That's only Cassie that said anything, right? That's like, not only Cassie, but well, that that those are her. That's her. That's her only bones to pick. He's had like so many years of people I was just, just telling them that. a little odd. I was just saying this, and they're like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, that's bro. not what we were saying. I was trying to say uh, bring up uh, another example, and you didn't let me talk. But whatever. Dude. No, I was. <laughs> it's I was under the bridge. He's I was going through it right now, bro. And and meanwhile, you have Tupac's killer being like, "Bro, you can't help me out." Trying to burn him out, like. <laughs> He, you know why? He's like, nigga, you, you never dropped that bag off to me, apparently. Allegedly. <laughs> oh my God. Allegedly, he never gave the nigga the bag. Right, if Damn. you were Tupac's killer, you just going to put Diddy under the bus? I might. I'm like, 50, if he was supposed like, to pay me and he yeah. didn't pay me? That is for sure. 
if there's one person you shouldn't pay, it was him. I'm singing. But like when they no, made the, when but, they, when they made this agreement, there was no internet. Like they, this was probably made inside of a room somewhere. Yeah, that should still make it valid though. Like I don't mean that it's fake. Like, but he just like no fuck, proof to he this. Re- I mean, no, he you really to, did. What did these lawyers like? Yeah, you got to be able to like actually be like, okay, like other than you saying this happened 40 years ago. Yeah. Where's the evidence? Where's the wire transfer? Like, yeah, where's the wire transfer? Man, He's like, oh, I gave him cash. There's oh, YouTube okay, videos of proof. <laughs> oh, fucking sneaking little slick lyrics and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, not even cool. just that. Just all types of shit. I'm not trying to defend I watched, here. I watched a video earlier of of him. Kevin Hart Usher and he's like he's talking about how he like mentored Usher when he was a kid and he was oh, like yeah, yeah. he's and like Justin yeah. Bieber yeah but listen he's like yeah man we used to wake up in the morning together and he's like wait pause wait like, what he was, he was like yeah he was like 10 years old and I was a little younger you know what I'm saying like we used to wake up in the morning and we would wrestle over the cereal you feel me like 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 we we would wrestle because he would wake up earlier than me and he would eat the frosted flakes and yeah man we would wrestle and Kevin Hart just goes Yo, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? Yeah. Kevin Hart goes like, wait, I'm not about to let this nigga get away with it. Diddy comes up behind him, puts him in a chokehold, and Kevin Hart's like, no, 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 we're not about to just pass by this nigga. What the fuck do you mean you was wrestling 10 year with this nigga when he was 10 years old? Over the Surviving fuck. Diddy. And Justin Bieber, he's, he's had weird little stories too where he's like, yeah, you know, I was over Diddy's crib at 15. And Whoa. Like, bro, yeah, dog. Bro, listen. You have some people around you, it's just... But when you're that, it's just so fucked up that when you're that powerful, it's just people just enable you and they're yes men because like you're all, they're all paid off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Paying all their dreams. Damn. So you just like, that's weird, bro. Money is really people, evil, bro. No one wants to make you angry. You know, you know like yeah. especially when you're like that super rich and successful. Where, where and you could change someone's life you're, at the yeah, problem. Like no one wants rich. to be like, oh, like even if you're wrong, you know, like everyone's wrong. Everyone's like wrong at the end of the day. Some, sometimes you're hungry and you're like tripping for no reason. But if you're, <laughs> if you're a, no 10 year old kids ever staying at my house, but they better be like my brother's 10 year old. I'm not saying, like, yeah. I'm not trying to justify like, that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying like being able to call out the homie who's like super rich and successful and like making, you know, 10 million every fucking month. And you're like, he's like, what, why should I listen to you? Get the fuck out of here, Blasi. Mm. You like, checking your homie? If you see him wrestling with a ten year old kid, <laughs> yeah, <what the> fuck? <laughs> I'll be like, bro, what? that's no longer the homie. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be like, is that your brother, dude? Yeah. And if it is your brother, why you still hold him like that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, like you grown like, man, off of, bro. bro. Wrestling, <laughs> wrestling with a ten year old as a grown man is crazy. over the over the uh, over the cereal. Over the cereal, go buy some breakfast, bro. Like, nigga, you're rich. As <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but listen, shout out to Kevin Hart because he was like, man, nah, we not about to just skip past that, bro. Like, no, but they probably like, shared a room and they were arguing about who gets the top bunk. Because yeah, Kevin Hart's like the... No, but no. Diddy was like a grown man while he yeah, was 10. Well, Kevin, saying, Kevin like, Hart has like the stature of a 10-year-old kid. So he's probably like <laughs> thinking from the perspective of like, yo, that's fucked up. Now, look. You, <laughs> you, you know what else was crazy, <laughs> too? Up. There was an episode of Drink Champs. And like, Diddy gets drunk and he loves to call the homie's daddy. Like, I've seen what him the... do this on interviews playing times. That's a New York here. thing. Yes, it's weird. No. It's weird when you say it in English. In Spanish, people always Papi, call each other yeah. pa, pa, yeah. pa. But listen though, someone but, called me padre the other day. I'm like, that's too far. Padre, padre. padre. Yeah, like what's up, but, padre? But oh, it was I like know. I don't know. It was the way he was doing it. Like, <laughs> like, like they they were sitting at the table and. Uh, it, it, it was Styles P and uh, Sheik Luch from uh, uh, LOX. They were uh, they were fucking talking about something, and Diddy's like, "I love it when you talk to me like that, Daddy," or some crazy shit, right? So look, I don't even think any of the gayest homies have called. No, me daddy. listen. So listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen. Like, I haven't heard you or Toke say that. Yeah. Listen, like, peep. So look. Oh, I put it. Well, I mean, the homies <laughs> yeah, yeah, Toke. Yeah, yeah, this, this is uh, this is pot man. Pot god. Yeah, pot god. Pot man. man. Pot but man. listen, so. Uh, <laughs> So it was the rapper Fabulous and like his birthday had just passed, right? And Diddy's drunk as fuck on there like, yo, Fab, why we never party together for real, man? Shout to Fabulous. And Fab's like, yeah, like, you know, like, like, like you could tell Fabulous is uncomfortable. He's kind of like, yeah, like, like we, bitch, I know he's why like, I don't he's party like, with you. He's like, bro, we function together, that shit. He's like, nah, nah, man. I'm talking about why we ain't really party together, like, like party, you feel me? And Stop niggas, doing coke. Nah, it's not like he's talking about some like some he's like, up on him, like wrestling with ten, ten year old yeah. boys. No, <laughs> over the cereal. That's what it yeah, sounded like. Sucking virgin blood and shit. <laughs> like what? what is it called? Like uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Adrenal. Adrenal. Okay, okay. You see Adrenal. Adrenal. when when uh, when clean. when yeah, the yeah. whole thing with R. Kelly happened, right? And then we were like, oh no, like that's crazy. But you know the music, like some of the good music. Michael Jackson, same thing. Like that happened, and you're like, oh wait, you know the good music. I feel like with, Michael Jackson with, was innocent. With though. okay, but let's just say from this perspective. Right with Diddy, if this you know is all true, he's dirty. D- are we are we gonna be like 
damn, what about those three songs? Like, do you guys have any Diddy <laughs> songs funny. that you guys no, like listen, fuck with? Yeah, you got it. Like, nah. like that's not a good example because Diddy is like a DJ Khaled where he's kind of just curating it. Yeah. He's not doing any of the actual he's work. He's part of he's some a legendary songs. No, but but you're I'm not. But, some, but you, like R. Kelly though. But you're not. But for you're sure. not hearing me. Yes, he's a part of it. But someone wrote those lyrics for them uh, for him, made the beat. He mm. just got in there and just read it off the paper. How the fuck did he get into the music industry? What the fuck? I don't, I don't know. He dude. just got bread. Go, go watch a fucking Bad Boys documentary. I know, dude. Fucking, we don't fucking Fun know, man. Fun fact, ASAP Ferg's dad uh, designed D the Bad Boys. Design, designed the logo, for sure, for sure. Random, just like, now that my brain's not foggy, I'm having all these... Look at you with all the these random facts. facts from 2019. 